Um, you know, uh, when you get into tournament time, uh, everything come, becomes about the players and um, guys making plays. Uh, it's a new season, and uh, you know the guys uh, that 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 are here with me. Um, Chris really got us going uh, to start the game, and um, and and Terry quietly does what he had, what he's been normally doing, and that's uh, giving us double doubles and, and and things like that. There's a reason. There's a reason we're in the semifinals. A lot of it goes to these two guys' uh, credits of, of of what they've been able to accomplish this year. So, very thankful we're here. Uh, very excited about our opportunity uh, tomorrow night, and uh, we get a chance to to play a really good team tomorrow. Um, just let the game come to me, you know, uh, coach always talks about don't force things, just let it come and just play ball. Terry, how was that battle with Willie Green tonight? It seems like, uh, you know, they, they were able to disrupt you a little bit in the first half and uh, you were able to, you know, come back there and play strong in the second. Um, you know, he came off a good game against, um, who they play? SIUE. Yeah, SIUE. I didn't even know who they played. But, yeah, he came off a good game, so, you know, he was up for the challenge. And I was, too, because, you know, um, I knew he was going to come at me and give give it everything he got. And uh, he made things hard for me in the beginning. But coach just told me just keep posting up and just uh, keep burying them when I had the chance and uh, feed me whenever I can. And my teammates did a good job of that. Chris, can we talk about joining the 1,000 point club? Um... It's an amazing feeling. Feeling uh, I got that monkey off my back. Um, it's just I'm just blessed. But um, that's just something personal. But we still got a team goal, and that's just uh, to keep winning and get that championship. Can you talk about the mood that you think you or this team's philosophy was going into this going into tonight? All business. That's all it is like we we know what we've been in this position before we played Moorhead and we know we escaped uh, at their place and we knew we had to come out and set the tone defensively and we tr we did that uh, for most of the game and then a little later in the second half we kind of slacked off and they started hitting shots but it's all business for us here we know uh, what we got coming here to do to win and that's all we're worried about at this point. Can you talk about how that game kind of got a little more intense going to the second half when they started to hit drop their shots? Uh, it's just it's just a it's just a lack of um, not not paying attention to the scout. You know, we we didn't do a good job of that. Uh, coach coach told us who the shooters were, and we you know we just like basically went out there and closed them out. And you know, good players make good shots, and uh, they got the they hit shots and got them back into the game or within striking distance, and that's what happened. Coach, can you talk about your team winning the rebounding game tonight? How important that was. I you know in tournament play you gotta you gotta win it. We um, we were pretty impressive on the glass, especially the offensive glass. You know that that's kind of been our our, our mo. Um, you know, a lot of times when you uh, and, and and you shoot the ball well, you don't get a lot of offensive rebounds. Well, uh, second half we didn't shoot the ball very well, and and, and you know we, we we were relentless on the glass because I give Moorhead a lot of credit. They're 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 they're, they're very very competitive and uh, very deserving of, of where they're at as far as the season goes. Uh, they they may have had the the, probably the hardest schedule out of the four, uh, out of the twelve teams in the in the, in the conference. You know, they there's a, them and Eastern are the only two teams that had to play us twice, Murray twice, Jack State twice, and and, and Belmont twice. And um, you know, they beat the teams they needed to beat. And, and and I give Preston and their guys a lot of credit, but I thought we were relentless on the glass tonight. You know, he was. Um, you know, he was he was he was a wild man on the glass tonight. I mean, uh, you he know, took, he, he took a couple of my boards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, he he uh, he was just chasing. He was an animal on it. Um, you know, Jabari redeemed himself because he wasn't very good the last time we played Moorhead and and um, uh, up at their place and 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 he you know like 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 a like a senior. He bounced back and, 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 and said, Coach, you can depend on me. Uh, you know, I started him last game. I didn't start him this game. Um, you know, but, but he came off the bench with a, with a fire. These guys know what's at stake now. Um, you know, the, the, they, don't, they don't want their seasons and their careers to end. They don't, you know, they don't want to have to go in and, and worry about, you know, 
being being adults out in the real world. They want to keep playing, man, and uh, you know, and keep the team concept. And uh, we've got we got a, t a tight knit locker room that very gets along very well. And you know, um, I know this. I, I I can't I can't predict what's going to happen tomorrow. Only God knows that. Uh, but uh, you know, we're going to do the best to win, or the clock's going to run out. One of the two. Uh, you know they, they they make it they make it for, they make it fun for me. I don't have to do as much, um, especially in the first half when the way we played in the first half. I can sit there and be a cheerleader, you know. And uh, they they respond anytime I challenge them, uh, no matter what. You know, it, it, they, that's that's a credit to those guys believing in in what we do, and they, and, and and they are all bought in, both feet in a circle, and. Uh, so I can just, I can, you know, especially these two guys, you know, we've, we've, we've had a lot of growing together and, you know, I can say a word here, a word there, and, and they get the picture of what I'm, what I'm coming from better than I did when I first started coaching them. So uh, leadership's been great. Speaking about that first half, Morehead went two for 14 for three. What were y'all doing in the Civil War right there? Oh, we, were to, we, were, we were playing to our identity. Um, we were playing to the identity that I foresee for, for, for Austin P basketball, and that's a, you know, a defensive first team, you know, um, and we were taking them out of everything that they wanted to do. And we, we, we had two days of practice that we got after it before we came up here. And because we knew we had to have the mindset um, of the slippage of, of the last week of the season. We, we had some slippage in the last week. Because you go on the road, you got to play really well. And, and those guys came out with a great mindset. I, I, you know, that, that tells you how how really good our league was at the top. But because if you look across the board, how many teams win 13 games and finish fourth? You know, I, I don't know. I, I, you can probably argue that that across the board, you go look at all the 31 leagues. I, I would imagine that 13 wins in conference plays probably got you up near one or two. Um, but that tells you how strong and how, how impressive that that those other three teams were this season over the 18. Um, um, of course, all of the games, uh, but um, no, we're 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 happy. We're 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 good where we're at right now. Uh, we're back in the semifinals. Um, you know, we got to take the next step. We got to take the next step, and that's to to be able to 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 join those elite teams. You know, and 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 Belmont and and Murray's been the two teams we haven't been able to beat since I've been here. And uh, you know, I hope these guys are ready to take the next step. Be as good as we've been all year. We uh, just gotta worry about us. That's it. Uh, I'm glad he added that. Uh, we we we've we've got to be the we've got to be the best version of us. Um, you know they're they're talented, um, very talented. Uh, from from the one through the five, they're 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 good. They're good. Um, Windler put on a heck of a performance in in, in Clarksville last time we played them. Twenty points uh, in a row and and and. We, we've got to be good. We don't have to be now. We don't have to be superheroes, but we've got to be good. Coach, you want to talk about Chris. You know, obviously he got the 1,000 career points, but the other things he did tonight, rebounding, assists, steals, hustling for loose balls. Talk about all the stuff. You touched on the leadership a little bit, but talk about the other stuff that he does. It, 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 it's, it's something that, that he has done for us for a while. Um, you know, when when I got the job here, he was really the only guy on our that that I had in my locker room had any experience, and so early on he felt like he had to be, you know, the point and rebound guy, and and you know he went from that, and and that 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 takes a lot of maturity, and he went to becoming the 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 guy who was the tough nasty, dirty guy that was going to do all the things that we needed to do to win. A lot of things that don't get seen and. Uh, in the stat sheet, you know he's done all those things. I, I I can look back on his career and the thing that helped us turn the corner, and he probably don't even think about this, but we were playing at Oklahoma State, and um, there was a loose ball, and it was probably he had to dive, I literally 15 feet to, to get that ball, and it was a chance for us to get a run, and 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 he, I mean he just threw his body out, threw his body out. Uh, got it, 
threw it up. We got a dunk. They called it off for a travel because they said he rolled. Whatever, you know that happens. Um, but it was a it was a defining moment that I could say, yo, that's my dude right there, and uh, he's been like that the, uh, the rest of the way. 